this way there are so many evidences and we were sent to Pakistan twice. When you say we, it's a, a group of six people okay. out of this missing. Okay. I was the only woman, five men. We were taken there for a week with the understanding that you would be shown the uh, prisoners. prisoners. Hmm. And after that, the repatriation would be done. Maybe we'll say that though they are under assumed names, hmm. this was the understanding. Hmm. They, were, they are under assumed names. You go and recognize hmm. them and then the repatriation will take place. Hmm. If we go there, midway we get to know that what India was supposed to do to their prisoners, hmm. they have not stood by their oh, So th this was a quid pro quo? Yes, that, exactly. Okay. Hmm. So we went there. I mean, they were not there. We came back. So it was a futile uh, visit, seven days. They were not there or you were not even shown them? They, yeah. I mean, where they had all assembled in Multan, they were not there. And one yeah, of... No, no defense people were there? No. Not a single one? No, we, we wouldn't know. They were all in civilian clothes. Okay. And they were not uh, able to speak or... One of them, two majors, um, uh, Dr. Suri, he indicated that your people are behind the wall. Huh. I mean, we heard. We were all walking together, looking at each face very clearly, huh. very carefully. Huh. That we shouldn't... You see, because we know, we have seen movies, yeah, yeah. how the beard grows and well, your in any eyes... Case, eight years of torture inside a jail. Yes. So change. we were going to be very careful. This was the first time we were being sent. And uh, one of the persons, he said that your, uh, your people, people are behind the wall. They are here behind the wall. I mean, he didn't indicate ah, because yeah. he, he knew he that he can't. Yeah, he just said they are behind the wall. Huh. So we thought maybe, but we came out and uh, what, what do you do next? What do you do next? Even if he tells you. So nothing happened after that. We came back. I said, why did you all send us? No, no, no. We thought this would be have this I mean, all kinds of stories. And then the minister who had, who had briefed us, later on I said, he says, no, but I never said all these things. I said, these were your words. They would be under assumed names. And when you go and identify them, then we would be able to bring them back. Now, what do you do? How do you fight uh, the government in, at, at such times? We have done what we should not have had to do. We were not expected to bring evidence. I mean, sometimes the government machinery would say, any more evidence? I said, are we supposed to provide evidence? Had they gone to protect me in person or the family in person? They had gone for the nation. They are fighting for the country. They are not fighting for A, B, C. So is it the responsibility of the government or the individual families to look for them? Let them languish. If they are there, they will go their own way. We, we are not responsible. And all 54 defense people you are willing to lose to the, uh, in the war and not take any cognizance of them. How do you explain this? I mean, individual lives we can live. But as a nation, this is the value of your defense uh, soldiers.